Hello, it is Sunday, May 15th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Sunday puzzle today, so a big themed puzzle, an extra large grid. And this extra large edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Quotidiophile Skella Chicken, and as always, the inestimable Hood Monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly contributing to this channel and helping uh, make this a sustainable part of my daily work. I do very much appreciate that and the contributions of everybody who has become a patron. Uh, and if you'd like to do so yourself, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And the link is in the description field underneath the video. There you can become a benefactor and get the uh, daily solve. Let's check the crosses mug. But also, uh, if you back at any level, you get access to all of the um, bonus videos that have gone up on the channel so far and all of the new ones that go up each week. And uh, you can also subscribe to the channel for free, of course, on YouTube. Thank you to everybody who's done that as well. And finally, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. You get an extra channel in there if you're a patron, but other than that, it's free for everybody to join. And we should move on to the Sunday puzzle. We shouldn't waste any more time because, of course, this is a big grid. And this, uh, this Sunday puzzle is entitled, oh, I just realized I misplaced my mouse. There it is. Okay. Um, this puzzle is entitled, entitled Way Out West, and it was constructed by Daniel Maurer. I think this is Daniel Maurer's third or fourth puzzle. I checked earlier, and I can't quite recall the exact number, but uh, he's constructed a handful of puzzles for the Times. And uh, this is one of them. What is going on with this mouse? Sorry. Just trying to get my cursor so I can start the puzzle. Okay, here we go. I found it. Uh, and that's that. Let's start playing. Oh, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Did I say that? I can't remember. In any case, let's go. Ah, and we have some shaded cells, and they're intriguingly disposed in this diagonal, roughly diagonal pattern, this positive diagonal bisecting the grid. And we have a very interesting pattern of black cells as well. It's very busy. Anyway, let's go. Meet the blank baseball fight song. I have no idea, but I bet it ends in S. Half step in music. A semitone. Um, a full tone is, well, a tone is, is two half steps in music, a full step. Okay. Pertaining to any of five Italian popes. So this will be an adjective corresponding to a papal name of which there were five. But I'm not sure offhand, so let's keep going. Um, unless, it, is it the Medicis, maybe? I'm not sure. Small rodent. I'm not sure about that either. To be in France, though, is être to be. A sort of French 101 verb. And blank J. Hawkins, rock pioneer who wrote, I put a spell on you, screaming J. Hawkins, a truly incredible vocal performance. Abbreviation on many streets in Quebec, probably um, S-T-E for saint in French. It's a very common name in street names, or co a common prefix in street, in street names, I guess. Uh, character seen on a keyboard. Um... I'm not sure what that is getting at exactly. A computer keyboard, I assume? I'm not sure. Uh, bile could be ire, anger, frustration. Obsequious. If one is obsequious, one is oh, sort of toadish, or what would, what would fit here? Um, can't think of a synonym that fits in this space. Uh, but obviously there is one. <laughs> I just can't come to it. Sun deck. Sun deck. With a question mark. So some kind of pun or wordplay. I'm not sure. That's my cue. I'm on. It's straightforward enough. Actress long. Nia long. is an actress. And a component of a bridge truss. Oh, I'm not sure offhand. Now what about this? It could end in E. I-N-E would be, that's a plausible end to an adjective. Ooh. 
Boy, I'm not sure. I was going to say Leonine as in Leo, but that wouldn't be that wouldn't be an I. And the L wouldn't work here either. What about this? Nickname for 114 across, coined by John Steinbeck. Oh, will this be our revealer? It it is. Theme of this puzzle, which winds its way nearly 2,500 miles through all the shaded squares herein. Is it the Amazon River? I'm just sort of guessing based on the length. No, maybe it's not. Um, the Mississippi River? No. Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming it's a river. What about this? One of 50,460 in the channel. The channel tunnel um, connecting the UK to France. I Presumably this is meters. One, one meter, one of 50,460 meters. And actress Barrymore, great aunt of Drew. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, Meet the Mets, maybe? Baseball fight song? That looks plausible. Oh, Ethel Barrymore? That sounds familiar. And famed fountain of Rome, the Trevi fountain of Rome. Okay, so the nickname for the, I assume, river. Um, what about this? Corpse blank number two, morning after cocktail. Corpse reviver number two is a, is a classic cocktail. And is said to be, uh, it is said to be intended as a morning after cocktail. It is true. Uh, if one is at the top, one is elite. And pass. Overtake, maybe. Uh, in a vehicle, for instance. Oh, the mother, oh, the mother road. Maybe it's not a river. Maybe it's a road. The Appian Way? Um, I don't know. The mother road, I'm not sure. Character seen on a keyboard. And obsequious. And sun deck. Why don't I know any of these things? German surname part. Von, perhaps, as in Otto von Bismarck. Could be Van as well, I suppose, actually. Obsequ oh, servile. Obsequious, servile. There we go. That's, that's perfectly plausible. Um, skip or drop. Omit, maybe, as in skip or drop a word in a sentence, for instance. And what, oh, sun, oh, tarot, tarot deck. So there's a sun card in a tarot deck, I suppose. So there we go, the German surname, Vaughn. And then, oh, Sistine, oh, interesting. As in the Sistine Chapel, is that Sixtus? What is, which, to which papal name does this refer? And then character seen on the keyboard. Oh, Schroeder from uh, Peanuts, the pianist character from Peanuts. And opposite of a breeze could be a real ordeal. Hopefully this, this puzzle won't be too much of an ordeal. And Sierra Madre looks right. A Twitch user perhaps could be a streamer, Twitch being a um, video streaming website. And what malarkey? Pshaw, maybe? So here's an example where we're going to match the sort of slang tone of the clue with the answer. And they're both uh, sort of uh, sort of quaint, I guess, phrases, or, or maybe maybe quaint's not the right word, but they, they, they match each other. What malarkey, Pshaw? Um, paid penance, atoned. If you paid penance, you atoned for sins, for instance. Sight of a UC in the OC. OC is Orange County, I think. What is U? What is UC? Oh, University of California. Um, site of a UC. 
you see what? You see, why can't I think of this? <laughs> Colorful nat natural attraction along 114 across. Painted, it looks like. And then this is kind of tape. A demo tape. And cuisine that includes gochujang paste, Korean cuisine. Um, here we have carpooling initials uh, HOV, high occupancy vehicle lane. In other words, the carpool lane. Oh, you see Irvine, of course. Yes, that is. There is a University of California at Irvine. So that must be the answer. I wouldn't expect that to be. Uh, this would be a baffling clue. I think if you not only weren't from the U.S., but maybe weren't even from California, I have to say. And uh, pastis flavor would be anise, as in, um, oh, what's an example of a pastis? Um, Pernod, the liqueur. It's sort of like um, uh, absinthe. It sort of has that same flavor left went if one left a place you went somewhere i assume oh puts away could be stores maybe or doesn't quite fit traffic or tra trackers for short dea um drug enforcement agency oh stashes puts away stashes that that fits and rue ingredient with a question mark so a roux is um, flour and butter. It was cooked flour and butter, but the question mark makes it seem as though that's not going to be the answer um, because we're looking for some kind of pun or wordplay. So what does that mean here? Roux ingredient. I don't think I... Oh, silent X maybe? There we go. So it's an ingredient in the word itself, a silent X. And ending with cash or front, cashier, frontier, those are both words. And um, they both are words. And that's that. I don't know what else I was trying to say there. Uh, decorates deceptively. Um, guilds? I don't know why that would be deceptive, though. High part of a deck. An ace, a deck of cards, and bon blank, fashionable word. Oh, sorry, fashionable world, sorry. Um, bon temps, is that what that is? A legend could be an icon, as in a legend of screen, a screen icon, that kind of thing. Um, tall curved attraction along 114 across. Why don't I know what this is yet? <laughs> Seems sort of embarrassing. What about this? Many a Hollywood worker could be an agent for an actor or a screenwriter or something. A peridot for one. What is that looking for? And what about this? Muscle bone connector. A tenon? And... Right, right, that tall curve attraction. Um, suffragist and abolitionist Abby Blank Alcott. Not actually sure. What about this? $100 bill slangly. Um, in three letters, I can't think of it. Instruction for some Thanksgiving cooking. Baste, maybe? You could baste a turkey. Um, a 1990s film with a famous wood chipper scene. Oh, Fargo, the um, Coen Brothers film. It's a great film. And Spanish is to ando or iendo as English is to... Um, what suffix is that equivalent to in English? Is tenon wrong? This looks wrong. Is this ing? Oh, sinew. Right. Was I confusing that with tendon? I think I was. Um, 
sinew. There we go. Muscle and bone connector sinew. That makes much more sense. So this looks like painted desert. And then here we have, oh, Ben, Benjamin, right? Of course, $100 bill. And then is in Benjamin Franklin. And component, component of a bridge truss is an end last, an end fast, down to earth and not mainstream for short. And wholly blank. I'm not seeing any of these right offhand. What about this brownish yellow hue? Ochre? Oh, oh, interesting. Maybe, oh, it's going through states because here we have TX for Texas. Okay, well, this won't be ochre because I don't think there are any states with the abbreviation OO. Could be Ohio, OH, or Oklahoma. Um, what color would this be? I'm not sure offhand. What about this? Big blank. Big Ben, Big Sir, Big Ten, Big anything. Uh, smart say. Could be smart as in hurt, or smart obviously as in clever, or smart as in well-dressed. I mean, it could be anything. Uh, what about this? Tall curve, oh right, it's the tall curve to traction. Tall curve to traction. Um, is it the, the gate, the big, um, is it St. Louis, or what is that? I can't think. Oh, Gateway. Oh, is it Gateway something? Oh, Gateway Arch. Is that what I'm thinking of? I think it is. So what about this down here? Decorates deceptively. Is it gilts or gilts? Oh, gilts, because um, you could have, you could gilt something. And so it's meant to look like gold, but in fact, it's only the surface that's gold. Okay, that, that's what it means by deceptively, I see. Oh, I guess it is gilds. And then gone to press is a pun of some kind or a bit of wordplay with a question mark. Uh, uh, smashed or something? What is this? Gone to press. Mushed it in some kind of garlic press or something? I'm not sure. Santa Monica blank. Southwest terminus of 114 across. Okay, it's definitely a highway, but um, Santa Monica Pier maybe? I, I have no idea. I'm just sort of guessing based on the length of the clue. Jazz bassist Carter, who has appeared on more than 2,200 recordings. I'm not sure. What about this? Summers in La Cité. So that's um, French for, well, city, obviously, but um, été, summer. And then golden rule preposition. So do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So unto is the preposition there. And gone to press is pushed, I guess. I mean, I suppose if, you, if you've if you gone to press somebody, you've pushed them, I guess is what that means. Um, what roots are to powers? The inverse. So if you say, um, I don't know, four to the second power, four squared, the square root is the inverse of that. Um, so four squared is 16, and then four is the square root of 16. So this must be Sven, Sven Kramer, and Ron Carter. So we're crossing two names, but they're fairly easy, I think, to infer from the crosses, unless these are not correct, and we have much more um, unintuitive names that I don't know, but this is probably correct. Brand with a bull in its logo. I'm not sure offhand. And blank Austin, Biden's Secretary of Defense. Um, boy, it's annoying that I can't instantly think of this. Why can't I think of the name of the U.S. Secretary of Defense? Um, well, I'll kick myself when I see it. Anyway, self images. Self images with an X. What is that? Um, it it is some kind of pun or wordplay. So do note that, but. That's not helping me, is it? Um, Stevenson of 1950s politics would be Adlai Stevenson. And 
phrase one might yell at the screen during a horror film. Don't go in. Looks plausible. And a mower's trail. A trail of cut grass, I would assume. Um, I'm not sure what that wants. What about this? One of two circling the earth. One of two circling the earth. Is this some kind of satellite? I'm not sure. Georgia, e.g. Well, it could be Georgia the country, it could be Georgia the U.S. state, um, but I'm not sure which. Or a person, actually. It could be a person. Georgia O'Keeffe, for instance. Bad stat for a quarterback. Interception, maybe? Is that... I think that's bad for a quarterback. I, uh, I know I shouldn't guess about sports things because so frequently I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know the crosses, so I'm not going to put it in. All right. Brownish yellow hue. Here's big blank. Oh, big, maybe it is big, sir, actually. Uh, There's a location in California. And monogram in the 2016 presidential election. Um. Oh, HRC, Hillary Rodham Clinton. And then go ahead and ask. Okay, shoot. All right, so this was Oklahoma here. And here we have smart say, oh, so it is hurt. It's smart as in hurt. Someone sort of smacks you can say, oh, that smarts. Brownish yellow hue, oh, khaki, I suppose. And animal in the genus boss. I don't know, is it an elk, perhaps? And suffragist and abolitionist Abby May Alcott. Oh, and Peridot is a gem. Yes. Okay. Peridot is a gem. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Okay. I was wondering if this was May only because it reminded me of Louisa May Alcott, to whom I assume this person has no relation, but I don't know. One named New Age musician. Uh, oh, look at that. It is... May, and it's actually spelled the same way as Louisa May Alcott, after all. Interesting. As opposed to the different spelling with the E. So I guess this is a yak, because uh, the reason I revised that is because this L looked implausible after the Y. And that doesn't mean you couldn't have a name that does begin YL. It's just that there was an easier cross here with yak that made it look better. So Yanni, maybe, is the one named, one named New Age musician. And then B3, nutritionally, I think is niacin, actually. It's in my head for some reason. Uh, if you booked it, you ran. Oh, self-images are x-rays. I see. Images of oneself. And then stir in is to add, as in a recipe. And they may be written to victory. I'm not sure. What about this? Some... CO name endings, some corporate name endings, I assume. INCs, Incorporated. And um, the CO being abbreviated here lets us know that the answer will also be some kind of abbreviation or contraction. Means of electronic communication with re restricted access, intranet, I suspect, as opposed to internet. So an intranet being a sort of internal, uh, usually corporate network. Bugs. Nags at, maybe? You bug someone, you nag at them. String or integer in programming. Um, a variable. But that doesn't fit. Um, a data type? Don't, oh, oh, maybe it is a data type, actually. Because don't go in could be don't do it. There we go. Uh, as you, you're yelling at the screen during a horror film, both, both of those are pretty plausible. So data type could be correct. And uh, what was this? What is this? Graf graffitied artistic attraction alongside... Oh, is this Route 66? It must be, right? That's the... There we go. It must be. That's the sort of storied... American Highway. I don't think I've ever driven on it. Um, anyway, 
Cadillac something? Graffiti, graffitied artistic attraction. Cadillac, no, Cadillac Raz something. I actually don't know what this is, but Cadillac just seemed plausible given the highway theme. Although this doesn't look very good. Some score, scores in horseshoes. I don't know if this is correct, and I just don't know the horseshoe score, or if Cadillac is wrong, or if Nagzat is wrong. Either of those is plausible. What about this? They may be ridden to, ridden to victory. Maybe it's not Cadillac. I don't know. That seems so plausible, though, with the highway theme. What about that? I probably have something wrong. Sorry. Um... Being treated in a way. I don't know. Offer one's two cents. Opine, offer an opinion. So this could be Ohio this time, maybe. Being treated, no, I don't think. Oh, no, sorry. I thought O was the first of the two shaded cells, but it's not. Being treated in a way. Could be on something, deprived. And bug. I don't know. Uh, tap in, e.g. What is that getting at? And partner of only, one and only. So partner often means a word that goes with the other word in crossword cluing. You usually do this lying down by yourself. Nap? I have no idea. Um, I don't know. A whole can of worms? Question mark. Some kind of pun or wordplay. And mamas, mamas are nanas, I suppose. Bad message to send to the wrong person. Bad messages. Sorry, that's important. Uh, sects. You wouldn't want to. Uh, sects. Uh, send those to the wrong person. And it is important that they're plural so you don't get the wrong, you don't, you're not searching for an answer with the wrong number of letters. Um, the Panthers of the NCAA, NCAA familiarly. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to know it by thinking more. <laughs> Safe to say. Naval negative. No, sir, I guess. And things sometimes named after presidents. Eras presidential eras. And then, I still don't know what this is, a component of lacquer thinner. Acetone and Singer O'Day, Anita O'Day, I do know that. So Pitt, I guess, is a school, the Pitt Panthers. That doesn't actually sound familiar to me, but I'll have to just assume it's correct. Um, 140 in Old Rome would be um, C X L. So 100 and then 10 less than 50. Okay. They may be written to victory Congo line. No, they must be plural. Um, Why don't I see what this is? Sorry, it's probably very obvious to many of you. I apologize. Dislikes and then some. Detests. Posed for a portrait. You sat for a portrait. And, um, all right, I don't know what this is. What about this? Captivate. Enthrall. And they, oh, coattails. Oh, I was, Nagzat was wrong after all. No wonder this all looked incorrect. So you you could ride coat you ride somebody else's coattails to victory, and then bugs is hmm Adlai Stevenson surely is correct right, and this does look like Cadillac it really does so I'm going to put that back and then what about this oh eats at if it bugs you it eats at you there we go I was. Really focused on finding a consonant here, but nope, it was a vowel. Eats at. Anyway, some scores in horseshoes. Um, I don't know. A whole can of worms. Oh, a can of bait, I guess it is, for fishing. And 
I don't know still. Oh, bathe. You bathe lying down by yourself and then tap in, e.g. Is a putt maybe in golf? And a bad review is a pan. Oh, I don't think I saw that clue before. So leaner. Oh, some scores scores in horseshoes are leaners. I guess if the horseshoe leans against the stake or whatever it is, that must be it. Something like that, perhaps. Critical warning. Code red. Ah, critical. And being treated in a way. Oh, on meds, on medication. And so here the state is New Mexico. There we go. All right. Well, the first one must be California because actually that was already indicated in uh, this clue, which said Santa Monica Pier, Southwest Terminus of 414 across. And um, I assume these state abbreviations are going in order uh, of the um, highway. So is the next one Nevada or Arizona? Move far out. Um, why don't I see that? Uh, deprived and brand with a bull in its logo. What about the downs? COVID data track tracker organization, presumably the CDC Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and then New Deal Power Agency, the um, Tennessee Valley. Um, the power they, that was a power agency. They built a dam, right? Maybe I'm wrong about this. Uh, is it not the CDC, the COVID data tracker? Um, wishy-washy response. And then what about this? Art in the Television Hall of Fame. I don't know. Uh, Boy, I'm not acquitting myself well here, am I? Brand with a bull in its logo. My name is Asher. Oh, Lev? And Lloyd, Lloyd Austin, Biden's Secretary of Defense. And then Bug is Peeve. Yes, okay, here we go, it's coming together. What is this? Brand with a bull in its logo, what is that? That's probably something really obvious. L. What is it? Old El Paso was a brand in the crossword yesterday. Actually, today. I'm doing this the night before. <laughs> so I'm wearing the same shirt, in case you were wondering. Um, you probably were not wondering that, but that's the answer. Um, brand with a bull in its logo. Um, I don't know. Boy, that's annoying. More far out. Well... Oh, I think I read this incorrectly before as move far out. That was throwing me off. So more far out. It'll end in E-R. L. Oh, Elmers. Ah, I was trying to find a Spanish word starting with L. That was annoying. Okay. Elmers. Fair enough. Elmers glue has a bull in its logo, I guess. And then it sort of sounds familiar in my brain slightly. Oh, if you're deprived, you could be described as needy. And then wishy-washy response depends right it depends you might say and um what did i say this could be new mexico or arizona arizona ah yes crazier and then peaceful informally is zen you might say in a sort of informal way and then art carney i don't know is that someone Fools are often seen at its start. April. April Fools. There we go. All right. This is all working. I think this area is now complete, actually. So we have California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and then we'll keep going beyond that. But first, what about this graffitied artistic attraction? Cadillac R Ranch? Sort of taking a guess there. Um, Georgia, e.g., and mower's trail mulch doesn't really fit um, is there a different mower that i'm not thinking about beverage with a new england variety 
I don't know. Following along. In something. Underwriting. Oh, and there's a question mark. So it doesn't mean underwriting as in insuring or, or um, I guess underwriting has a few meanings, including insuring something or sponsoring it. Um, but it doesn't mean that because of the question mark. So it's a punnier meaning here. I'm not sure. What about this? Tres menos do, dos. Oh, treche menos doce? Uno? One, three minus two. Uh, attempt to grasp as a complicated situation. Um... Not sure offhand. Verb impose the raven, quoth the raven nevermore. An awful state to live in. To live in squalor, I guess, would be an awful state in which to live. And underwriting subtext? I'm trying to think of... I guess it could be text, actually something text, although probably not. Gear for gondoliers, oars maybe is that what the is that what you call the the sort of pole the gondolier uses? I'm not sure. Uh, one of two circling the earth. Mower's trail. A, oh, a swath. You cut a swath through the through the lawn, for instance. And following along is in tow. There we go. Um, beverage with a New England, is it tea? New England tea? Not sure. One of two circling the earth. Oh, tropic. And, oh, an IPA. New England IPA, I don't actually know that. I don't actually know what a New England IPA is, but um, IPA is an India pale ale, which is a very hoppy beer, so there must be a New England variety? I'm just guessing based on the crosses here. Oh, and Georgia is a nation. Okay, so that was much more straightforward than I was trying to make it. Bad stat for quarterback. Oh, look at that. I think it's interception after all. And underwriting is... Uh, I don't know. Attempt to grasp as a complicated situation. To unpick, maybe? And... Grant blank, northeast, oh, the northeast terminus of 114 across. So, oh, the opposite of, oh, look at that. And they're in the, in the grid. This is towards the northeast of the grid. And then here, our Santa Monica Pier is towards the southwest of the grid. And they couldn't be fully in those positions because then they would interfere with the state abbreviation. So that's fair enough. Uh, Grant York, maybe? I've, I'm not sure cool, and word with a wave in Oaxaca. Word with a wave. Hola? Oh, unpack. Right, it is hola, as in hello. So you could you could wave. And um, cool is hip, maybe? Grant Park, it must be. Northeast Terminus of Route 66. And classic Camaro and Downton Abbey Countess. Um, uh, why can't I remember the name of this character? Um, boy, that's annoying. Oh, Cora, Cora. And so underwriting is caption and classic Camaro is I rock. I've seen that before. I don't actually know what it stands for or what it means exactly, but it's some kind of model of a Camaro, I guess. And then down to earth is... Um, that's annoying that I can't think of it. Component of a bridge truss, saw that earlier. Not mainstream for short. And holy blank. And positive results of some strikes. I guess a strike in bowling would be positive. I'm not sure. TV six-year-old who attends Little Dipper School. No idea. Lead into calm.com. I mean, that's straightforward. 
but maybe it's correct. Large rodents, probably ends in an S. Some military officers. I mean, it feels that this could be many things, different ranks, for instance. Bit of writing on Twitter or Tinder. Could be a bio, a short biography of yourself. Natural conclusion, question mark. So the question mark makes me think this is a suffix that we can append to the word natural. Naturally? That doesn't fit, actually. Um, why can't I think of any other suffixes for natural? I don't know why I can't. Small rodent. And hardly a team player, question mark. A soloist. I bet that's right. And holy smokes, maybe? Down to earth. It's infuriating that I can't think of any synonyms for this. Uh, one of the Gucci's. I saw that film, House of Gucci, the Ridley Scott film, but I can't remember any of their names. Oh, Paolo. Paolo is one of those characters. Maybe that's one of the Gucci's. And end post would must be a component of a bridge trust. That looks right. Oh, Folksy is down to earth. Okay, I'm not. I'm not actually surprised I didn't get that. And then. Not mainstream for short is alt, as in alt rock, I suppose, and positive results of some strikes. And large rodents are. This is on the tip of my tongue. Um, that's annoying. Okay, who's the little six year old? Oh, Elroy from the Jetsons, maybe? Uh. Maybe I don't have this rodent on the tip of my tongue. I thought I did, but that doesn't look familiar. What about this? Small ro Oh, another... Sm oh, wait. Small rodent and large rodent. So oh, that's funny. Oh, I was going to say bed bug, but that's not a rodent, is it? It doesn't make any sense. It's an insect. Um, oh, what are, what, oh, I haven't looked at the states recently. So we had Oklahoma, then Kansas. T.O. Where's T-O? That doesn't seem right. Maybe I have something wrong here. Natural conclusion. Oh, naturalist. There we go. I suppose it could be naturalism. That seems much less likely. Uh, oh. Muskrats? No, that doesn't fit. Uh... I don't know what this large rodent is. Positive result of some strikes. Could it be a labor union strike? What other kinds of strikes are there? Strike you hit somebody, strike in bowling. Uh, um, bit of writing on Twitter. Tender. This really does look like bio to me. A small rodent is a some military officers. Lieutenants, LT. Oh, that would be Illinois up here. And that is a state abbreviation, so that's plausible. What was the Grant Park? Oh, maybe that is in Illinois. Oh, a gerbil is a small rodent. There we go. It's all coming together. Oh, leading to commas, not dot commas, rom-com, romantic comedy. Oh, marmots. There we go. Large rodents. I did. Okay. So that was, that was wrong before. And then, oh, some strike. Okay. So I didn't think football strike or soccer strike goals. There we go. All right. There's the way out West puzzle completed uh, by Daniel Maurer here. And a very fun theme. And it took me quite a while to come to, to the answer, which was Route 66, which runs starting in um, Santa Monica Pier, California, to then Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, Missouri, and Illinois, terminating at Grant Park in Illinois. A very clever, a clever theme uh, Daniel by Daniel Maurer running through the puzzle and geographically represented with its two termini at um, 
Santa Monica Pier, and no, uh, Grant Park represented respectively in the southwest and northeast, not quite corners because that would have messed with the state abbreviations, but close enough to those corners. And certainly they are um, southwest of northeast of each other. So on a relative basis, they are correctly positioned. And um, we also have W words symmetrically disposed. I think that's probably a coincidence, but just happened to notice that. Anyway, um, a good fun theme by Daniel Maurer. And the good, good Sunday puzzle I did give me some resistance from time to time. I think that was probably more just my, how, how the, how I kind of entered some things maybe wrong or didn't quite think of the right sense of words on occasion. Um, but, uh, honestly maybe found this more difficult than yesterday's Saturday puzzle for whatever reason. You just never know how this kind of thing is going to strike you. Um, but anyway, that was a 42 minute solve. So I should, I should move on. Shouldn't I? So one moment I have to lean over to, uh, put up the privacy veil. And there it is, so we can discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. So let's do that. Um, I think there were two subjects. Um, I'm recording this early, like I said, so uh, apologies if you leave comments that I didn't yet have time to, that I, that I didn't yet see because they hadn't, they hadn't come up yet at the time of recording. Uh, so Serena, so a few people commented on this, so I just chose a couple comments um, as representative examples. Serena Howe says, for context, neo-pronouns are non-traditional pronouns used by trans people. For instance, z, zem, x-e, x-e-m. They're becoming more popular and are often used by trans youth online as a way to express identity beyond just she, he, uh, sorry, she, her, he, him, or they, them, signed a non-binary viewer. And then I thought this was a really interesting um, bit of additional context from Zero R95, who says between 1934 and 1961, the Merriam-Webster dictionary included the neo pronoun thon. So they've been around for a relatively long time. And I, I um, so I'd heard of I've heard I'd heard of um, uh, Zzem, for instance, but I'd not heard of thon. And I looked it up, and it actually dates all the way back to the mid 19th century, and it was uh, it was indeed coined as a non gender specific singular pronoun from, I think, oh, I looked this up and now I can't, now I can't remember, but it was um, the and yawn or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, it means basically yawn in Scottish as well, but I think that's a coincidence. Um, Old Fooder pointed that out as well. Um, anyway, so I sort of, sorry, lost my, <laughs> kind of lost my train of thought there, but thank you to Serena Howe and ZRR95 for the neo-pronouns context, as well as the other people who commented. And uh, Willow Wisp explains scales are the symbol for Libra, the horoscope for the end of September and the beginning of November. I don't know why I didn't remember Libra, but uh, Mr. EQ points out the depths of scales and Libra is so ingrained in the English language, it just doesn't stop. And and where did I put the rest of this comment? Um, oh, yes. For instance, the abbreviation for pound, LB, short for Libra, Libre, comes from the act of weighing wealth rather than counting it. The British pound currency also comes from this root. And then, um, the, of course, the British pound sterling abbreviation is the L with the cross in it. And that comes, that's derived from that same root as well. So, yes, they are very intertwined. And um, I went ahead and didn't remember any of that when I came up with, uh, came across that scales clue in yesterday's puzzle. All right. So, um, I think that's it. That's all I had in the clues from yesterday's puzzle. So thank you to everybody who left comments. Sorry if you left more comments after I had, um, recorded this, but that's that for today's video as well. So I will be back of course tomorrow with a Monday puzzle should be much quicker, much more straightforward, much easier. Um, with a relatively simple theme. We've had some fun themes recently. Anyway, uh, I look forward to that. So do join me for the Monday puzzle, but until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm -hmm.